Mourners have lined the streets of central Tokyo to bid farewell to assassinated former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. His hearse was driven past political landmarks after a private funeral. Mr Abe was gunned down on Friday while campaigning. Oh, the crime has rattled Japan and prompted an outpouring of international condemnation and grief. Mitch Ishida tells us more. Japanese bid their final farewell to the country's longest-serving prime minister. Members of the public who wished to offer flowers and prayers formed long lines outside Zojoji Temple, the place where former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's private funeral was held. <laughs> This man said he had once met Mr. Abe in person. <laughs> this man from Myanmar said he was shocked when he heard the news. As Mr. Abe's hearse left for the cremation site, thousands lined along the roads to wave their goodbye to the late leader. As part of the journey, Mr. Abe made his last visits to the government compound, where he spent many years. Mr. Abe's political career spanned nearly three decades. He was first elected as a lawmaker in 1993. He was appointed chief cabinet secretary under Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi. He rose to become Japan's youngest prime minister since World War II, but his first term was cut short by health issues. He made a stunning political comeback in 2012, winning the premiership for the second time before stepping down in 2020 again due to health issues. During his second term, Mr. Abe was credited for restoring Japan's place on the world stage and bringing about a domestic economic revival. When the hearse came to the Prime Minister's office, where Mr. Abe spent a total of eight years and eight months, he was greeted by Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and his staff. Mr. Abe died from gunshot wounds last Friday in the western city of Nara during a campaign speech to support his party's candidate. The Japanese government said it received 1,700 letters of condolences from 259 countries and regions mourning Mr. Abe's passing. A public memorial for the late leader is expected to be held at a later date. The Kishida cabinet has decided to present Mr. Shinzo Abe the highest order. It's the color of the supreme order of the chrysanthemum. It's in honor of his long contribution to Japan, and he will be only the fourth Japanese to receive this order. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo. Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong has paid his respects and signed the condolence book for former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. PM Lee was accompanied by Mrs. Lee this morning at the residence of Japan's ambassador to Singapore, Yamazaki Jun. A public signing of the Book of Condolence for Mr. Abe is ongoing at the Japan Creative Center until tomorrow. And Chloe Chu has more on the Singapore tributes paid today to the late former Japanese Prime Minister. Mourners filled the walkway towards the Japan Creative Center as early as 10 o'clock Tuesday morning. From all walks of life, they flooded in to pay their final respects to Japan's late former Prime Minister and sign the Book of Condolence. Some brought bouquets of flowers, while others presented hand-drawn artwork. But everyone carried a heavy heart and deep gratitude. Around 300 people have come to pay tribute to Japan's late former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. And that's just from this morning alone. So I took a walk inside and it's a very solemn mood here at the Japan Creative Center. Many people have come prepared with long messages on their phones to pen their condolences. And while most messages were in Japanese, some were from Singaporeans thanking Mr. Abe for all he's done and for making Japan such a wonderful place for tourists. Many Japanese residents were still in shock from the news on Friday. It's a huge nightmare that nobody in the world especially the Japanese, will not be able to believe that this is happening in Japan. I'm very, very shocked, very shocked. Yes, I'm very shocked. Because Mr. Abe is very strong for economy. 
For the Japanese community, this was a moment to reflect on a leader whom they described as instrumental to Japan's progress. Abe-san really made Japan very stable and then uh, um, kept on focusing on the growth of the country. He's a really greatest leader and uh, I think uh, must have must must never happen. And it's not just Japan that Mr. Abe had an impact on during his time as Prime Minister. PM Abe is a true statesman. He has worked so hard for a world order and particularly peace and prosperity of Asia. And that's why he is very near and dear to me. And that's why I'm here to pay my last respect. I wrote in the book that uh, uh, I, uh, as a Filipino, as a OFW, we cannot, uh, we always remember uh, in our hearts he's a very good person. He's very helpful, helping Filipino a lot. And then, like this, hopefully he will uh, rest in peace and then condolence to the family. I read the news, it's very sad. And yesterday I went to the Japan embassy offering the flower. And so many locals also go to the embassy to offering the flower. The signing for the book of condolence will remain open to public until 5 p.m. on Wednesday. An outpouring of condolences from other parts of the world as well for Mr. Abe. Japan's foreign minister says there have been more than 1,700 messages from nearly 260 countries and international bodies. Thai Prime Minister Poyod Janosha was one of the many who visited the Chinese, uh, pardon me, the Japanese embassy in Bangkok to pen a message in the book of condolences for Mr. Abe. Similar gestures from South Korean President Yoon Suk Yul, who expressed his deepest sympathies at a memorial altar for Mr. Abe in Seoul. While Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen paid tribute at the Japanese mission in Phnom Penh. Well, as tributes from Mr. Abe point, Beijing has slammed Taiwan for what it calls political manipulation after the island's vice president, William Lai, attended the late Japanese leader's funeral. On well, Taiwan's highest ranking official visit to Japan in decades, prompting China to reassert the island is part of its territory and without a vice president. Tokyo has downplayed Mr. Lai's visit as it sought to reassure Beijing on its non-governmental ties with Taipei. Officials say Mr. Lai attended Mr. Abe's funeral as a private individual. 